Anubis, the jackal-headed god of the Egyptian underworld, sired many wondrous children, lycanthropes or theriomorphs, with miraculous abilities. The ability to harness the power of their own voices, to mimic sound or other voices, or even to create sonic emissions of blunt, bone-shattering force. They even have the ability to produce hypnotic melodies from the reed-like talons of their six-fingered hands. But these changeling beings are known primarily for their savage, inhuman visages, visages that cause unspeakable terror in the hearts of men, these children of the world's secret heart, the moon. How does the moon affect these strange beings? The moon is symbolic of the subconscious, of emotions, intuition. When the moon is silent in the sky, dark in the heavens, then its influence is calm upon its children. When the moon is visible in the sky, then its influence is felt by its children, just as the moon reflects the sun's light. But the sun is only a crude mirror just as the wearable is a crude mirror of humanity, its doppelganger unleashed upon the world in all its untamed ferocity. But the moon's influence on the females of the Therian kind seems to provoke something of a more benign response. Which brings us to the key catalyst of lycanthropic transformation. Estrogen and other hormonal levels are increased tenfold within the males, which promotes a gynecological breast development that also triggers their inherent lycanthropic genetic predisposition. That's where these unisex etheric pneumatic devices are a necessity to regulate the beneficial universal energies that are channeled through these mammarian energy conductors. Awareness Day Though you appreciate them all year, this is the day where you can show your wear that you always care.